the one person who could play Victor Von Du. Oh boy, um, I cannot believe we are here right now. I, I really thought that these rumors were complete garbage. I really had myself thinking that, you know what, these guys were going to trust their ability to make a universe with uh, different actors, definitely not unpopular actors, but they were going to be different actors that we hadn't seen before, playing uh, new characters that they were going to try to fit into the MCU. But boy, oh boy, was I dead fucking wrong about that. As the Russo brothers unveiled that their Doctor Doom will be played by none other than Robert Downey Jr. My fucking god, this reeks of desperation, and that's saying a lot because they were at Comic-Con. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But no, seriously, these guys have literally become one of their own memes. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. If it's not clear, I hate this casting. And if you'd like to know why, well, you can stick around and you can drop a like if you agree or disagree and maybe just appreciate where I'm coming from. And if you really appreciate it, you can also subscribe. And whether or not you agree with me or don't, that's totally fine. You can drop a comment below and let me know what you think about this move. I think it's become pretty clear over the years, before this was even official, that the MCU was trying to regain what they let slip through their fingertips. And it has become painfully obvious that they are oh so desperate to get it all back. And to be fair to them, Jonathan Majors did create some pretty big problems for them in the writing room as far as Phase 6 goes, as he was obviously going to be their big bad. But even if Jonathan Majors didn't do the awful thing that he did and get rightfully booted from Hollywood, the MCU was struggling to keep fans coming in and watching their content. Sure. There have been some good movies and some good shows that have come after Endgame, but they've been few and far between, and they've been struggling to maintain their audience and, of course, the revenue that comes with that. And so it's left the MCU scrambling and trying to figure out what exactly they're going to be able to do to bring people back in and get that gigantic audience and gigantic amount of cash coming back into their pockets. And then of course there's me. And for me, it feels really, really cheap. But it's not just me. There are tons of fans, whether they're Fantastic Four fans, Doctor Doom fans, uh, comic fans, movie fans. People in general kind of already see that there's something not right about this and something that's just not going to work plot wise ultimately. For instance, what makes Doctor Doom a great villain and the character that he is probably won't even be seen here in these Avengers movies because he's probably not going to have a pure earned and real hatred for Reed Richards. Or what do I know? Maybe he will be connected to them in some way. My theory is that it's probably going to be a Tony Stark that was probably like at the end of Endgame trying to save everyone and as he does that snap something happens where he becomes Doom in some way shape or form which to me means that he's still essentially Tony Stark and not really Doctor Doom. Here's the thing though no matter how they want to write him, no matter how Russo or RDJ want him to be portrayed, uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but if you've watched anything outside the MCU, uh, Robert Downey Jr., maybe outside of Oppenheimer, has pretty much exclusively been cast as like Tony Stark, but maybe with a British accent like he was in Sherlock Holmes. And I mean, let's just be realistic. The reason why they're bringing him back is because he's familiar to an audience. So the point of him being familiar would be him doing something similar to what they're already used to, what they already loved, which was Tony Stark. And that is something that he's really good at playing. So this is no shot at RDJ. It's just that this is kind of Hollywood. When they see that fans are comfortable with something and they know it's a safe bet and that they're gonna get their asses in seats, they're gonna make you play a certain type of character. It doesn't matter how much range an actor has, 
All that matters is how you get people in seats and how you make money for them. Whether or not Robert Downey Jr. plays a similar Tony Stark or completely new and his own Doctor Doom, it doesn't really matter because narratively it ruins a lot of things. Just like bringing Logan back for Deadpool, it makes those sacrifices in those movies feel so hollow. Those deaths mean nothing and it ruins those perfect endings that both those movies had which really sucks because this is literally the biggest problem that the comics have. And so as comic fans, we just can't escape this. We'll never get finality. We'll never get any closure for these characters. We'll never get those perfect stories because we're always just going to be bringing these people back and sucking us in for more until we are just completely drained and don't care about any of these characters anymore. The number one thing that the MCU did for all those years was build and maintain hype trains. And they did that for basically an entire decade better than anybody else ever has, and no one has ever come close to it. As good as I think these Avengers movies will do, and I do think they're going to do pretty well, Disney might need to accept the fact that the hype that they once had is gone. And unless they do something really new and creative, that hype probably isn't coming back anytime soon.